Hey Slay Gang, welcome back. Today I will be sharing with you guys how I achieve my flawless baby hair. I get so many people that ask me, am I wearing a frog? Nope, it's my natural edges. So today I will be sharing that with you guys how I achieve my baby hair. So of course, the supplies that you will need first and foremost would be edge control. What I will be using today is called Save the Edges. I got this from a black owned store in Atlanta. Ever since I've been using it, I fell in love. However, if you don't have this, you can use your favorite edge control. Another favorite of mine is Hicks Edges. You can find that in your local beauty supply store. Another item that you will need would be your edge brush and comb. So on one end is the brush and on the other end is a comb. I don't use the brush side. I don't really see a need for it, but I do use the comb side. So these will be the only items that you will need. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So here I'm just flat ironing my leave out. Getting it nice and bone straight. And another thing guys, this hair that I have in my head, this is our Malaysian straight hair. And believe it or not, this U-part wig is five years old. Yep, five years and it still looks, it still looks good. Still silky, soft, no shedding, and it was colored um, jet black. Still looks good after five years. Shop this hair online under Malaysian Straight. I almost forgot you guys are with me. I started just doing my regular routine. But here we go. We're going to get into the edges. So this is my edge control. Get a dime sized amount. And you'll just apply it to the edge of your edges, if that makes sense. Just a little bit. It allows you to gain more control with the method that I have going on. And you'll see that shortly. So then take your edge comb. And what you're going to do is create small sections of waves, I would say, swoops. About an inch wide. So that's my first swoop. I'm gonna go on to my second one. I'm adding more edge control to the rest of my edges, the part that we didn't put any edge control on at first. And this is to go ahead and blend those sections together. And here I am just perfecting those swoops. This is the key part. This is one of the key parts. You want to grab that very edge of your edges and swoop that into your swoop. Yeah, we're going to call them swoops. <laughs> So I'm just working my way down. Adding more edge control. And as y'all can see, I kind of OD on the edge control. But that's what I like about this edge control. It doesn't flake or leave any buildup. And this will be the last part of the swooping process. 
and you can do this two ways you can swoop it behind your ear or bring it to the front I like to put it behind my ear because it's a little more natural looking versus bringing it to the front now we're moving over to the other side you guys will get a better view here so this is what I mean by only applying the edge control to the edge of your edges just the edge for right now so we're going to do the same thing by creating those swoops this part right here I'm going to do that last so as you can see how you get more control just by it, um, adding the edge control to the edge of your edges and it doesn't matter how many swoops you make um, I really don't ever count I mean I just kind of go with the flow And here I am adding more edge control to the rest of the hair once again. And what we're going to do next is blend those sections together. Although your hair may be in a style where you don't see that side of your edges, I still like to do it anyway. And see here I am blending those sections together. Giving more of a realistic look versus you actually took time on your edges. This here is a key component. You want to pull those sections together in the middle, if that makes sense. Because it gives you more of a wave pattern versus actual swoops. And this is the last piece of it. I'm just gonna swoop my Widow's Peak or my Eddie is what I like to call it. I don't know about y'all, but I absolutely love my Widow's Peak, so I put emphasis on it. And there we go. We're done. Get into those edges. Put my cat ears on. Tell me, did I nail it, you guys? I want to see you guys create this look and tag me on Instagram. Or even create a video. Let me see. Just like that. No, it's not a frontal. It's my edges. Ow. That's it guys, so it's that simple to achieve the flawless baby hair like mine. If you want to know more or you want to see more videos like this, then comment below what you want to see on the next video. Your opinion matters, so I want to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bing. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to comment below. Until next time, slay gang.